Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the watchOS 10 Beta 2. My name is Jay and you are watching TechHype. Let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time. Alright, so starting up the video, let's talk about the size of this update. This update came at around 540 MBs on my Apple Watch SE. Diving further into this update and how is this update performing on my watch and is there anything new on this update, I will love it if you guys can hit that subscribe button i keep on making these type of videos for you guys you guys love these videos and i love to make them so it would be amazing if you guys can hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it as we are so close to 10k and i want to get to 10k as soon as we can so please hit that subscribe button and now that you're done that let's get right into today's video so the number one thing that is new in this update is the control center yes we all know that control center invoking control center using the button on the watch is a new gesture which we have to get used to watch os 10 is undoubtedly one of the biggest change to watch os in years animations in the control center are now much more smoother and the animations also feel a little bit different compared to how it was earlier i don't know if you guys noticed it or if you have updated your watch let me know down in comments below but i have noticed that the animation feels literally miles better than it was on the beta one the beta one was really good as well it was really smooth but the beta two just improved the animation of scrolling and invoking the control center on the apple watch even better then the setup screen the hello screen we all are aware about it it was something which was new on the beta 1 and when you will update your watch to beta 2 you will still see this update screen and this welcome screen which looks really really amazing and the welcome screen now also supports more languages then talking about the performance the performance of the watch also feels a little bit more snappy it does feel a little bit more warm compared to the beta 1 on the beta 1 it was not getting this warm which it has started to get i'm not quite sure it is just with the se because i am testing it on the se only let me know down in comments below is the beta 2 making your watch a bit more unusually overheated as well because this is something which is very normal on beta so even if you are experiencing a little bit of overheating on your watch don't worry that's pretty normal i have been here for years and i know how betas do tend to just react to this update so this is completely normal it will be fixed in the next beta and my watch does seem to get a little bit unusually warm when using it then talking about the storage after updating my watch to this update as i told you it was about four 540 mbs on my watch so after updating my watch i freed up around 200 mbs on my watch so if you do store something on your watch and maybe if you are low on storage on your watch which I'm not quite sure if you are because it is really rare that people are low on storage on their watch. But even if you are low on storage on your watch, this is a great news for you because if you will update to this beta, it will free up some of your storage. Then talking about watch faces, there is no new change in the watch faces side. There aren't any new watch faces on the watch OS 10 beta 2. In order to update your watch to this beta, what you have to do is make sure that you have logged into Apple developer account. And when you have logged into Apple developer account, restart your iPhone and restart your Apple watch and then go into the update section if you are still not able to see the update make sure to check it again and again because it does take some time to come up and you have to go and turn off the automatic update section as well only then you will be able to update your watch to the watch OS 10 beta i do not suggest anyone of you guys to update your watch to the watch OS 10 beta because betas are really unstable and there is no way to go back to the public version until and unless the rc what is an rc rc is an release candidate what does mean this mean is Apple gives the RC update to developers. You will receive an RC update. That update is basically the public release which will happen in September. So before people will get the, uh, the official version of watchOS 10, you will have the access of the official version a week or two weeks before they will have 
then you have to remove the developer profile and then only you will be able to get back to the normal cycle and but that time will be too late so i won't suggest any one of you guys to update your apple watch to this beta that's pretty much it for today's quick little episode i know this was a quick one but there aren't anything majorly new in this beta to talk about still if i will find anything new i will let you guys know on my twitter and on my youtube so make sure to hit that subscribe button or if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button it means a lot to me as we are so close to 10k and i want to get to 10k as soon as we can hit that subscribe button and now that you've done that thank you so much for watching this video till the end and this is me jay aka tech hype signing off peace